A new AP NRC poll says large majorities of black and U.S. Latinos think Donald Trump's actions as president have made things worse for people like them. The poll found about two-thirds of Americans overall disapprove of how he's handling race relations, and about half of Americans think Trump's actions have been bad for African Americans, Muslims, and women. Uh, slightly more than half uh, believe his actions have been bad for Latinos. When Mexico sends its people, they're not sending their best. They're not sending you. They're not sending you. They're sending people that have lots of problems, and they're bringing those problems with us. They're bringing drugs. They're bringing crime. They're rapists. And some, I assume, are good people. Throughout his presidency, Donald Trump has drawn widespread condemnation for racist rhetoric. He has warned of an invasion along the southern border. He has posted racist tweets about four women of color in Congress. And he attacked U.S. Representative Elijah Cummings' majority black district in Baltimore, calling it a rat and rodent infested mess. Those in highest levels of the government must stop invoking fear, using racist language, and encouraging reprehensible behavior. Over the course of the last year, it has been brown bodies that have suffered the consequences of hateful anti-immigrant policies that separate our families, militarize our communities, and put countless people and children seeking a better life in cages. Today of all days, we must hold the president accountable for the pattern of racism that has defined his administration. I'm Hispanic. You know, every day I walk around thinking, well, geez, am I going to be attacked because of my color? Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States until our country's representatives can figure out what the hell is going on. He's telling you who he is. Believe people when they tell you who they are. There's no surprise. You're living in poverty. Your schools are no good. You have no jobs. 58% of your youth is unemployed. What the hell do you have to lose? I got someone yell at me the day after the election, um, and so that was definitely a shock, but, um, and I also had my children experience racism in their school. Um, a bunch of parents and I have been working ever since uh, the last presidential election to really have the school um, take a stand for anti-racism, um, but yeah, it's definitely grown over the last few years. I am the least racist person there is anywhere in the world. Well, the president's not a racist. The president's not a racist. I think they're better than they were a generation ago. I think people have, um, society in general has become more diverse. This has been going on. It's just that it's more prevalent now and somebody's endorsing it and saying it's okay to act this way and it's okay to be this way and it's okay to treat people like that and draw lines. Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez.